Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. This is how the previous discussion on supporting multiple layouts for fragments ended. But what if we don't want to manage the state of the activity? That is, you might have put config changes attribute for the main activity for the orientation change, screen size and keyboard hidden. In that case, in the portrait mode, everything seems to be working fine. But if I change the orientation, whatever the earlier logic that we had written, it seems to be not working because our activity is is not getting recreated on saved instance and on restore instance is not getting executed if you have put this particular attribute in the main activity the only method that is getting executed is on configuration change our new logic will have to somehow be connected with this particular callback method of on configuration change we shall see how to do this in the next video so let's continue the discussion further on supporting multiple layouts using fragments and let me call it as 2.0 so if you have a quick glance at the activity code that we had written earlier, what we were basically doing is we were checking whether saved instance state is equal to null or not null. This would have mattered if the activity was getting recreated. But since we are using the config changes attribute for the activity, the possibility of saved instance state being null or not null will be irrelevant. So for all practical purpose, we can just remove the else logic that that we had written earlier completely because it is irrelevant. The same applies in case of when the landscape mode is working. We can still remove the else part here as well. So with these modifications, our new code of the onCreate activity would be much simpler. It will just check if it is a portrait mode and if it is a portrait mode, I will just add the countries fragment, which is a list of countries. And if it is a landscape mode, I will just add both fragments. That is countries fragment, that is list of countries and also the description fragment in the fragment container too. This makes our on create logic pretty simple. However, this doesn't solve the problem of handling the configuration changes from landscape to portrait. You might be wondering where that part of the code will go. That part of the action now moves completely to on configuration changed method of the main activity. As you can observe here, we are checking what kind of configuration change has happened, whether it is a orientation landscape and orientation portrait. And based on that, we are doing the logic of adding a particular fragment. So instead of understanding this theoretically, we'll understand it through a demo. So this is the same old code base. I have just modified it slightly. Now it has these configuration changes and in the main activity, whatever you just saw a moment back, the same changes I have here and the main important method here is on configuration change. The best way to understand this is through debug mode. So let me run this application in the debug mode. So right now my emulator is in the portrait mode and if it is in the portrait mode it will come here in the line number 26 and as you can observe that is where it has come and that's it you will be able to see portrait mode and if I click on any one of the item the callback method gets triggered once again in the on activity created of the country description fragment the possibility of saved instance not null will never be true so it will always enter the else part where it will always be null so you will just get hold of the value that you are passing through a bundle and in this case it is egypt and you will see that egypt description fragment is getting loaded i will just go back to the previous fragment again and let me change the orientation as soon as the orientation changed the on config method got invoked and now inside this we are checking what is the orientation and in in this case it is orientation landscape so it will go inside the logic of orientation landscape and it will add the first fragment which is the country's list fragment and then it will check what was the selected country so if we had selected country this would not be null so in this case it is not null so it will go to the else part and it will add the second fragment that is country description fragment with the value egypt and the remaining part of the flow pretty much still remains the same this is how it would look and once again if i change the orientation you will observe that on configuration change method got invoked and this time the orientation is not landscape it is portrait and in the portrait inside that i will check what is the selected country value and if it is not null that means already a selection has been done and based on that we need to load the country description fragment with the selected country otherwise we can just load the normal country 
completely least fragment so in this case the selected country value is not null so that is why it will go to the else part and it will load country description fragment and in the country description fragment once again we will get hold of the country through the bundle arguments that we are sending from the main activity and you will observe that we are getting the country description fragment for bangladesh in portrait mode so this is it all the logic of managing which particular fragment that needs to be loaded will now happen in the on configuration chain rather than in the on create because activity is not getting recreated at all and if you observe the locket you will see that only the orientation change portrait landscape lockets are coming you will not see any of the logs from on saved instance state on restore instance state because those methods are not at all getting called as we have added config changes attribute to the main activity so this completes most of the discussion on fragments but i want to discuss one more finer aspect of supporting multiple layouts see you in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye